Welcome back everybody. Here we are with problem number two in the Python in five problems video series. And in this one, we're going to investigate how changing a cylinder's dimensions affects its surface area. So directly from the MTH 1W curriculum expectation in which we uh, need to address the impact of changing dimensions on things like surface area, volume, perimeter, and area, and so on. So that's what we'll do here. Now, how can we use Python to help us out? Well, first let's think about how we could investigate how changing the dimensions of a cylinder uh, impacts its surface area. And one thing we could do is just do a bunch of surface area calculations and change the dimensions and see how that affects the surface area value. And that's what we'll do here. Now to do that, uh, why don't we start by just fixing the radius value at something, say one centimeter, and then changing the height value and seeing how that affects the surface area. So that's the approach that we'll, uh, we'll take right now. So let's take a look at our pseudo code. When we, uh, when we get into Python, the first thing that uh, we might wanna do is just set that fixed radius value, okay? And we'll use uh, maybe one for one centimeter or one meter or whatever. We'll, we'll set the radius at one and we'll leave it there. And then we'll, uh, we'll run a loop because we want to do several com computations. We'll, uh, let's say, do um, 20 consecutive integers for height, starting at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 19. We'll use those height values. And for each of those, we will calculate the surface area of the cylinder. We'll print the surface area result, and maybe we'll print the height one as well. And we'll just keep running that loop until we've done it for 20 consecutive uh, integers for height starting at zero, at which point we will end the loop. All right, so let's uh, let's see what happens. Now, you might be thinking, geez, Adam, this looks a lot like something that we did in the first problem video. Why, uh, why are we doing it again? Well, the truth is there's actually something new here. I'm not just wasting your time. Um, and when we did the live workshop, I asked the participants, you know, what is it about this problem that's new? What do you think we, we have to deal with here that we didn't have to deal with before? And it wasn't long before people started saying, ah, yes, it's this pi. How do we deal with pi in Python? And it's actually very easy to do. And uh, we'll show you that right now. So I'm going to call up my online Python compiler here. I'm going to use program is again. And uh, let's get started. So because I'm going to be using pi, I have to use something called uh, the math library in Python. Now you might ask, what is that? Well, a library in Python is really just a collection of functions that we can use. And there are several libraries out there. Uh, there's a math library, there's a random library, there's a bunch of other ones. We want to use the math library because we want to be able to use pi. Okay, I like an accurate representation of pi. Of course, you could always just type in 3.14. But the first thing we're going to do here then is import that math library. We need to tell Python, I want to use the math library. So I'll make a comment first. And we'll just say uh, import a math library. And a little note here, that's because we're going to use pi. All right. And to do that, we just type import. The color changes there, so Python knows what we're talking about. And the library we want to import is called math. So just do a space and then type math. And that'll import that math library for us. And now we can go and follow our pseudocode. So let's start by setting, oops, setting the fixed radius value. And I said before, I'm just going to use a, a value of 1. So I'll just say r for radius equals 1. And now we need to uh, to do our calculations. So we'll make a comment here and we'll just say calculate several surface area values um, based on height, something like that, right? Um, that's it. So we were going to use a loop. So we're going to do 20 consecutive integers starting at zero. So that's a four loop. So we'll say four. Uh, height in the range of 20 consecutive integers starting at zero. Don't forget to put your colon there, specify a loop, hit enter, we get our indentation, and now we can say A, which is gonna be our surface area, equals, and we'll type in our surface area formula. So watch out, because we're gonna have to deal with pi here. So we're gonna hit two times. Now I can't just write pi. Python will not uh, respond well to that, do not know what we're talking about. I have to say, I want to access the math library and from it, so put a period, I want to use the pi function. And that will work 
just fine. And we can do the rest of it like we're used to. So times r squared plus two times, oh, it's pi again. So math library dot pi function times the radius, which is r times the height, which is h. And then we need to print the results. So we'll just say print the height. Let's print our height, h. And maybe I'll do that thing again where I put the three dashes and then we'll print the surface area value. And we should be good to go. So let's see what happens if we run this program. There we go. We have a bunch of heights here from zero all the way up to 19 as expected. And we can see our surface area values here. And notice they are increasing linearly. You might want to draw your students' attention to that. Now, of course, we could modify this program so that uh, we fix the height and change the, um, the radius. So I could just go back here and say set fixed height. And we'll set the height at 1 and calculate several surface area values based on like, radius, changing radius, we should say maybe something like that. And we'll say for radius in range 20, and this time we don't want to print the height, we want to print the, uh, the radius and the surface area. So now let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, so again, we have all of our radii uh, values on the left here, and we can see our surface area, which is increasing, but not linearly this time. All right, so a, kind of a cool and quick way to investigate how those changes uh, impact the surface area. Now, one more thing I'll do while we're here in this video is talk about how we can make ourselves a little surface area calculator. And this is kind of cool. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, uh, a program, so when we run it, it asks us, well, what radius do you want? And what height do you want? And then it just takes those and it calculates the, um, the surface area. So I'll clear this here. And let's just go back to our pseudocode for a second and see how we could do that. Now, if I wanted to create a program that actually prompts the user or asks the user to input some values, uh, we'll have to modify this a little bit here. In fact, we'll just start from scratch because the first thing that we'd probably want to do is get those values from the user. So we would read the radius and height values from the user. The program will actually ask the user, what do you want the radius to be? What do you want the height to be? And once we have those values, we can just calculate the surface area based on those. And of course, we would print the area, the surface area. That is the result. All right, so looks like a super short uh, program here. Not a lot of coding required, which is true. So let's go back here. Now, I will keep some things the same here. I will just, for example, I'm just going to keep the import math library because I'm still going to use pi. Now, if we go back and look at our pseudocode, our first step here is to read the radius and height values from the user. So how do we do that? And we'll make a comment first and we'll say read values for radius and height. Okay, let's start with the radius. So we'll call it r, that's the variable r. Uh, we want the user to be prompted to input the radius. And in order to do that, we use a command called input or a function called input. And after that, we open up some brackets and we type here what we want the prompt to be. What do we want the user to see uh, as a kind of uh, instructions? So I, I want to say something, and I'll put it in quotations. Enter the radius. And maybe I'll put a colon there and I'll leave a space just so that the cursor's not right up against that text when it comes time to enter it. Okay, now we have to be very careful here because when we use this input function to get the user to input uh, a value, the input is interpreted as a string. And that's a problem because we want that radius value to be used in a calculation. And if it's a string, as opposed to an integer or a floating point number, it's not gonna work out in this calculation. So we wanna tell Python, you know, ask the user for the radius. And when the user inputs a number, turn it into uh, a value that can be used in this calculation. Now you could say, turn it into an integer, but we wanna allow our users to use um, decimals too. So let's say convert that input into a floating point number 
so we can use it in the calculation. And that's really simple to do. We're just going to type float in front of all this and then put all that other stuff we just had in brackets. And what that'll do is it'll take the input from the user, convert it to a floating point number, which we can then use in the calculation. All right, so that's the float command. And there's an integer one, two, we'd write int int if we were just interested in integers here. Okay, now let's take um, the same approach for our height. So height equals, we're going to want to convert it to a floating point number, ask the user for an input, and we'll make the prompt enter the height. We'll do a colon with a space just like that. And then we'll have our values for R and H. Uh, based on what the user inputs. So now we can actually just uh, calculate and print the surface area. And we'll just enter our formula there. So surface area, we'll call it capital A, is two times. And of course we need to use pi from the math library. So math.pi times radius squared plus two times math.pi times radius times height and we'll print the result. So we'll say maybe the surface area is, and we'll say, let's round it. We'll round the surface area value to two decimal places. And that should uh, hopefully work. Let's see what happens when we run our program here. Okay, so we're asked to enter a radius. We could enter, uh, say five for the radius. Now we're asked to enter the height, so maybe the height is three centimeters, and we're given the surface area. So it works great. So kind of a nice, cool little way you can set this up so that you can easily run it again. Say, what if I had a radius of 2.5 centimeters and a height of 3.4? It gives you that surface area very quickly rounded to two decimal places. So some new concepts here that you can uh, play around with, try out, experiment with, and then uh, yeah, introduce to your students. There you go, and we'll see you in the next video.